Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Electra Soul. If you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic medium, a spiritual life coach, and just a spiritual bitch putting everybody on. What I intend to do is to teach people that God and Jesus and the universe coexist as one. Now today in this video, guys, this video is going to be covering something that I feel like is kind of important to talk about, especially if you are someone who is in the Law of Assumption community or if you are someone who uses the Law of Assumption, aka you are a conscious manifester, you affirm and persist within getting what it is that you want and instead of you waiting for it to come, you just know that you got it right here right now because you absolutely absolutely do but that's besides the point the whole thing here is that I really wanted to talk about the toxic positivity kind of thing going on I feel like some people might be wondering how it's not toxic positivity and things like that because I do understand exactly like where the concerns are coming from or not even concerns but more so just like the wondering you know how is it not toxic because you're telling yourself this that you're assuming you have what you want when you physically don't whatever like it doesn't matter I'm gonna be explaining everything today because I just want y'all to see it from like this perspective and basically to let y'all know what I think about it too because like I said y'all know me I'm a very positive person I don't like to fake shit but I also know that it's not fake because I said that but then anyway that's besides the point again we're about to get started with the video right now because I want to get to talking about this like really chatting with y'all about the toxic positivity that's going around or said to be going around within the law of assumption community but first really quick I just want to talk about the amazing binaural beats playing in the background as y'all can probably hear it from my other videos as well these binaural beats are coming through to help us out in the best way possible because y'all know we love peace up in here we love feeling serene we love feeling and calm tranquil all that stuff and I love music like probably a lot more than y'all know so I do like to listen to things like this that make me feel calm and just like really chill I just love chill vibes so with that being said just enjoy the background music today the link will be down below for the album so that y'all can go check it out and play it for yourself as well like whenever you want because that's what I do when I'm affirming when I'm doing this doing that like I love to have peaceful vibes with me because that's what the law of assumption is all about it's all about being peaceful in my personal opinion but then anyway now we can get started with the videos that we can get to talk talking about what's up with the law of assumption like is it really toxic is it really good for you what's the tea behind it all right then now that we're in the video the first thing i'm gonna say is in regards to the question is it toxic positivity okay is it something that you shouldn't be doing for the simple reason that it's okay to be sad it's okay to feel angry are you supposed to be wearing your anger or your sadness on your sleeve like how are you supposed to be coping with things in this general logical life because y'all definitely know that this world runs off of logic like y'all already know what the tea is y'all know that everything here is said to have some sort of scientific law as to how it happens and why it's normal to do this and why it's normal to experience that you know things like that very logic based like I said but it's for the simple reason that this is all behind science okay people assume that it's all linked to your health so people assume that if you feel sad but you're telling yourself that you feel happy that you're actually lying to yourself being toxic because you don't actually feel that way all right I'm gonna say a lot of things in this video today that might be a little not controversial but just okay let's put it this way I have my Pluto in the 10th house so I'm gonna say some shit that might shake y'all in some way I highly doubt I will but just for this matter today I want y'all to be as open-minded as possible because I'm gonna just lay it flat the whole thing about toxic positivity is that it's only toxic if you are consciously thinking in the form of I am so sad and I'm lying to myself when I tell myself that I feel happy if you are consciously working against the things that you are affirming for that is entirely different that is entirely your choice and that is something that you are inflicting upon yourself truth be told I completely understand that for some people they never want to hear like oh I have to take responsibility for the way that I feel and the way that I think and what I do and things like that but y'all need to understand that taking responsibility is the number one way to get everything that you want because why wouldn't you be taking responsibility in a life that you are responsible for because you have manifested your entire life whether you realize it or not since the day you were born all of your thoughts have been manifesting things in your physical life and that is why you either do or don't have the things that you want but of course you are always open to getting what you want this is not to say that it's your fault that you're not getting what you want that you did something wrong this that maybe you were just focused on the wrong things and that's okay I was focused on the wrong things for most of my life. Y'all definitely know from my videos, I mentioned it a million times before, I used to be extremely pessimistic, very negative, just one of those people who would find a problem with everything and that manifested in the form of my life being as shitty as I thought it was. Do you understand? So everything was a reflection of what I said for myself and that's exactly why I got everything in that way, whether it was good or bad. It was handed to me in that way, but it was all because of my assumptions. But now, because I have learned to take initiative in my own life to take responsibility, I consciously manifest only good things because I know the power that my thoughts hold. Do you understand? It's the same thing for you. You know the power that your thoughts hold or maybe you don't, but I'm telling you what it is. You definitely know now because I'm telling you, but that is exactly how you manifest things into your life regardless, okay? So with this being said, I also understand exactly what it is to feel angry, to feel hurt, to feel negative, to feel sad, to feel whatever negative emotion inside of yourself, but it's only negative if you say that it's negative, okay? This is a very important thing to remember here because there are times and even yes, in these times type shit, I would have a negative 
me to spot or whatever would go through my mind, right? The whole thing is that I would not sit there and be like, oh my God, these negative thoughts are coming back. What do I do? Negative, negative. Like I don't associate my thoughts with negativity because I know the power that saying negative shit holds within your life. Do you understand? If you tell yourself this is negative, I don't want parts of this. It has such bad vibes, whatever it is, those vibes become real the same second that you say so, you know? So if you sit here and you have a sad moment, which is very normal because we are human at the end of the day, as long as you were not telling yourself, I feel so fucking sad, I'm miserable, my life is shit, everything goes wrong for me, etc. That right there is you still feeling the feelings that you're feeling, you know, because you feel sad in that moment and no one's forcing you to stop feeling that way, but now you're not allowing for it to be a bigger issue than it has to be. Because if you sit there and you start to spiral within your mind, start coming up with all these questions, answers to the questions, overthinking this and that, whatever, that's what makes that power real within your reality. You claim something as negative, now you feel the vibes of negativity. But if you say to yourself, I'm just having a moment, I'll be fine. Bro, just right then and there, you have surpassed all the other bullshit that you could have experienced if you had chosen to sit there and to complain about all the other things. Because I know for myself, even today, yes, I do get sad. It's not the same kind of sad that I used to feel because I used to feel extremely hopeless. I used to feel devastated for things that I felt were out of my control. I would just generally feel like I was excluded from a lot of the shit that I knew that I wanted to be included in. But I also knew that me telling myself that I was excluded, that everything was shitty, that I wasn't getting what I wanted only made things worse. Now, if I ever feel sad, I'll just say I'll be fine. I'm literally okay. Everything's okay. In my life, everything's perfect because I said so. Everything's gonna be fine because I said so. Just like that. That's me literally working past all the other bullshit. Literally just that little feeling of sadness. Oop, just went right through it. That's what she said, I think. That looked wrong. But y'all know exactly what I'm saying. I just worked right past it as opposed to sitting in the middle. That's like really how I would represent it. It's like you sitting in the middle of your sadness. Do you allow for that sadness to overconsume you or are you gonna keep walking through the storm? You feel me? So you walk right through it and then boom, you literally get over it because I'm telling you, if you're not feeding that sad shit, it passes extremely quick. <laughs> and I know because even the times that I do feel that type of way, like sad, or whatever the case is, I pass right through it so fucking quickly. It's almost like not even a moment in my day. Like, I don't remember it at the end of the day to say, damn, I felt really sad today. I felt this. No, it doesn't matter. I just walk right through it because it's not something that I am going to allow to overconsume me and my thoughts because I know what I want out of my life. And just like this, you should be saying the same exact thing for yourselves because it goes for everyone and everything. This doesn't have to be a toxic place for you to come to to whine and bitch about why things are going wrong in your life and this and that or whatever the case is. The law of assumption is an opportunity for you to work past all the other bullshit that you think is a problem in your life so that you can get to the good shit because there's no point in you sitting here feeling worse intentionally, maybe unintentionally, but y'all know like it's kind of self-inflicted in a way, feeling worse about yourself in your life when you could just walk right through it. It is that easy guys, it is that fucking easy and that's the best part about it. The law of assumption is extremely simple like this. It doesn't have to be overcomplicated to the point in which like I said before, people may have been overthinking, is it toxic? Are you lying to yourself? Are you telling yourself things that aren't true? No, y'all have to understand that repetition is literally key. It really is key and I know that for a fact because after all this time of me repeating the good shit to myself, you don't just start to think good things. You start to feel good things. You start to see good things. Everything starts to change in your favor as opposed to like I said before, you sitting in the sadness and allowing it to wallow you up, swallow you up whole, gobble gobble whatever, but y'all know exactly what I'm saying. Like it will consume you if you let it. We are simply not allowing for it to consume us, okay? We're just not allowing for it to fuck with us in the way that we don't want it too, right? Now, another thing that I am going to talk about here is manifesting for things that I also do get. I remember that this was something that was kind of in my mind, but manifesting like an SP, manifesting something that you really want, maybe like a car, maybe money, whatever. The whole thing about these kinds of manifestations is that they are only deemed toxic if you allow this to be something that overconsumes you to the point of feeling like it is that toxic because everything that you affirm for is actually extremely easy to manifest. It is always going to be that easy to get what you want, but it's all things to your affirmations because the repetition is what's going to get you what you want. There are plenty of studies out here showing y'all that those with terminal illnesses, diseases, things like that have literally affirmed their way out of being this way and instead going to a very healthy state all because they chose to repeat that to themselves. It doesn't have to be hopeful thinking. It doesn't have to be you lying to yourself. It literally just is what you say it is the same second that you say so. The same second that you say so. Whether it's a person, whether it's money, whether it's this, whether it's that, all of it goes for the same shit. You say that you have it 
it. You keep repeating the fact that you do and you don't fight it. That's literally it. It doesn't have to be the other shit where you overcomplicate it, where you start overthinking it, start working against your affirmations. It doesn't have to be that difficult or that hard or anything in that case really because it's not that difficult. It's not that hard. This right here, what I'm about to say, I do understand where people have concerns about, oh, am I forcing this person to think differently because I'm affirming for them? Am I forcing things to be the way that they shouldn't be? Things like that. Remember guys, the control is always within yourself. If you decide something for yourself, you just have to trust that you're doing the right thing and not allowing for an outside source to make you feel like you're doing the wrong thing. Because remember, you are God. God is inside of you. You have the power of God. You are literally God of your reality. You are the God of your reality. So with that being said, you are free to do everything that you want to do. And you simply have to assume that what you're doing is the right thing. Of course, given that you have a clean consciousness and everything like that, but you know what I'm saying. You do everything out of good intention, good heart for yourself, for the intention of helping yourself, others, those you love, whatever. But it's all for a good reason, something that makes you feel good and something that doesn't make you feel guilty. Because really guilt is not supposed to play a factor here either. Guilt comes to those who feel like they're doing something wrong in a life where everything is supposed to be right. You know, like there's nothing to feel guilty about. You've done everything that you wanted to do. You are now consciously manifesting more. You're doing what you want to do and you're being who you want to be. There's no other life better than that. So stop feeling bad about what you're affirming for. Stop feeling like you're doing something wrong. People's minds change all the time. I'm telling y'all, they change all the time. Sammy has used this example before, but I want to tell y'all exactly what it is from this perspective. It's just like when you affirm to get into a university or a college, you don't think that you're changing somebody's mind at that college or university because you're telling yourself, I'm in that college or university. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. You are changing someone's mind. Someone's mind is saying, nah, you know what? We're going to accept this person because why wouldn't we? We just should, whatever. Boom, clap, bitch. Right then and there, you manipulated the way someone else was thinking, but you didn't see it that way because you didn't think like, oh, I'm changing someone's mind. It's the same shit. It is literally the same thing. Guilt is not worth it. It's not valuable. It's literally nothing. It doesn't matter. There is nothing to feel guilty about in a life that you have made your own for the simple reason that you can do this shit. Hello, obviously we're all affirming and persisting out here because we've gotten results because we're getting what we want because we're doing the right thing for ourselves. As long as we're not hurting ourselves or others, I don't see a fucking problem with it. I really don't. So only do what makes you feel comfortable. Only do what makes you feel good and only affirm for things that you know make you feel good inside of yourself that you know will help you as opposed to hurt you, make you feel worse, make others feel worse. Make yourself feel like the best and don't worry about anyone or anything else. Do not think so hard about the law, guys. Like really, it is as simple as this. Do not overcomplicate the simplicity that this is because the law of assumption is so fucking easy to use. It's just that when people ask questions like this, they start to get worked up. But I'm here to remind y'all that there's nothing to get worked up over. It's all done in your favor. It's all taken care of. Please don't worry. Okay, my love? So with that being said, I intend truly, truly that this video today helped cleared up some things for y'all, kind of got y'all minds around the fact that there's nothing wrong here, nothing to feel bad about. Like literally, you're perfect, my love. I promise you, you are. And I'm gonna be discussing one last thing within the video, within my last five minutes of me talking out my ass because I love y'all so fucking much. But I just wanna say one more thing to y'all. So with that being said, y'all, that's basically it for my video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I intend that this video helped you to the best of its ability. And I know that it did because guys, listen to me. Now I'm gonna be talking about what I was gonna talk about. This one I think is extremely important. And I feel like a lot of people overlook this, but we're not gonna overlook it today because we want the best of the best for ourselves and for others. I want y'all to understand that you are extremely limitless. You are genuinely as limitless as you came. You were meant to be as limitless as you are. You are meant for this shit. You have everything that you want, all that stuff. You got it all inside of you already. You already know to not feel guilty. You already know that you have every right to manifest everything that you want. But I wanna let y'all know today that even though you are extremely limitless, affirming for people or for things or whatever the case is to change in your favor is always something you can do. But one thing I will say is that in my world, like what I tell people, a lot of my clients and things like that, is that if they're affirming for something and they feel like this thing is extremely emotionally taxing on them, they feel like it's very stressful, very hard to do, it feels hard, it looks hard, whatever, that's what she said. But for real, it appears to be difficult. I want y'all to remember to take it fucking slow. I'm not kidding y'all, okay? This is where I think it can get a little toxic because some people will robotically affirm knowing that they feel like shit and it's okay. Like you can always robotically affirm and it will change things in your reality. But all I'm saying is that if you feel sad, if you feel angry, if you feel any other type of way besides good while you are affirming, take it easy, take it slow. Do not rush yourself. Do not cram yourself down with affirmations to get yourself what you want. Simply tell yourself that you got what you want. Anytime that you think about it, you just say, I got what I want and that's it. Okay, that's all you need. You don't need to sit here and affirm 30 minutes a day, whatever, back to back to back to back the entire fucking day. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do or anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. So please do what makes you feel most comfortable within yourself because your comfort is number one. It comes first here no matter what the case is. I'm telling y'all, it really fucking does. If it doesn't make you feel comfortable, take your time. Take your fucking time because you will still get what you want, but it's always okay to take your sweet ass time and to know that you are still getting what you want because you absolutely are, I promise y'all.
y'all now the second thing is that one thing i will never encourage and this is something that i also want you to like take into consideration for yourself is i will never encourage for someone to affirm for someone or something that was extremely toxic to them in the form of abuse physical emotional spiritual whatever kind of abuse anything really that you know is not good for you in any way shape or form you do not have to affirm for these people to change even if you can because yes i am going to tell y'all you definitely can like you can definitely change whoever you want to change whatever but should you do it every single time probably fucking not and the reason i know about this and like pretty much have experienced it myself is because there were people in my past like trust me y'all there have been people who were really fucking shitty that i knew that i could change with the law of assumption if i affirmed that they were this that whatever they would end up changing but the whole thing is that in that moment i remember thinking i was like i don't want to talk to this person at all like fuck them i know i can change them but i really don't fucking want to i want nothing to do with them and just like that i told myself i was going to manifest an even better version of that person but in somebody else and just like that i did that i ended up manifesting a lot of new perfect people into my life because i chose to not settle for the way that i was feeling about this other person because if i know that i am as limitless as i came which i am and i know that then i can manifest for that exact thing but in a different form in a better form in a more loving form sitting here and affirming for toxic abusive people to change definitely not something that's smiled upon like i don't recommend this at all so if that's ever the case that you find yourself feeling or seeing things this way i want y'all to remember that you can affirm for the same exact thing in a much better fucking way shape and form because if i have done it before if i chose to not give these people my time of day even though i knew i could but i still chose not to and i manifested better then y'all can do the same thing for yourselves and there's nothing here holding you back from that if you know what's up you know what's up like trust me you're gonna take it all the way but you have to do exactly what is right for you first nobody else but you comes first okay so please don't trip please don't overthink please don't think that you have to change someone really shitty blah blah blah, blah. anyone that i changed that was really shitty from my past or whatever was all people that i felt like i could have forgiven in that moment and i did and it was all okay and everything's better now but if you find yourself not feeling this way that's completely okay do what makes you feel most comfortable it's all about your comfort first if it's not the best that shit doesn't deserve you i'm telling you right now you deserve nothing less than best you deserve everything exactly the way that you want it to be and you deserve the absolute world and so you're gonna get that shit fuck everyone and everything else forget what people have to say it doesn't matter do what makes you feel good do what makes you feel right and take your sweet ass time because there's all the time in the world to manifest everything that you want please don't trip just know that this is done in your favor because you said so and that's it so with that being said my love i will see y'all this thursday for another video thank y'all so much again for watching god bless y'all please take care everybody and never ever forget who you are my love remember that things don't have to be toxic they don't have to be draining they don't have to be negative they don't have to be shit if you don't want them to be but you have to be the one to call the shots to put your foot down to say what's up you know like literally manifest everything in your life to be as perfect as you want it to be because you do deserve everything in your favor in the way that you want it but you have to be the one to call the shots and to not settle for a life that offers less than best if you feel like the law of assumption can be very overwhelming for you which i have heard before that's okay take your time there are no rules no one's telling you you have to affirm for two hours a day straight or you're not gonna get what you want no one's holding you down and telling you bitch you better be affirming right here right now feeling amazing all the time even though i do heavily encourage feeling good you know good self-concept and all that stuff it's okay to feel it's okay to be human <laughs> like we're all human even though we are gods of our realities but you know what i'm saying we're all human you have to do what makes you feel best within yourself first if it's not what makes you feel best first it doesn't matter it doesn't count for anything so please take care of yourself and your well-being at all times in the way that you need because you do deserve the best because you said so that's it fuck a toxic hoe we're gonna get exactly what we deserve period bye my love, please don't be silly, okay? You do not have to sit here and stress yourself out trying to affirm, not even trying, bitch, because the second that you start affirming, you are manifesting that thing for the things that you want because what is the point of that? Like, if the law of assumption is not here to make things better, then why would we be using it? Why would so many people be putting themselves on to using the law of assumption if they know that it's gonna get them what they want? They all know that, so that's why we're all using it. But you have to make it work in your favor because the law of assumption is here to serve you, not the other way around. You're not doing shit for the law. The law is working in your favor forget everyone and everything else if you want what you want go ahead and affirm for that thing but always do what makes you feel best inside what makes you feel most tranquil makes you feel calm like you deserve the best my love i promise y'all that i know what you guys are worth the entire fucking world but you have to know it just as much as i do because no one's gonna hold your hand to make you see what it is if you want the best manifest the best but do not let the law be something that stresses you out to the point in which you don't want to continue we are always manifesting so we might as well take matters into our own hands and make things even better than they already are period the fuck
nothing toxic about that, nothing toxic about repeating affirmations to yourself, nothing toxic about manifesting your life to be as perfect as you want it to be. As long as it makes you feel comfortable, and I am not talking about feeling uncomfortable when you say your affirmations, I'm talking about if you feel genuinely comfortable within yourself, even if you feel a little uncomfortable when you are affirming for that desire, know that that shit is going to pass, you're gonna be fine, but always do what makes you feel good. No spiraling, ho. We got this shit in the bag because we said so. And that's it.